Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You may notice that uh, I'm not wearing my typical jacket. Uh, today I, I'm wearing a speed and strength critical mass armored vest. So I figured I'd give it a go. You might also notice that I'm not wearing the typical black gloves. I'm wearing the thrash and supply uh, something or other gloves. I'll put it up there because I can't remember right now. But before we go any further, here's a joke for you. What is the best Kung Fu vegetable? Rock leaf. <laughs> it's so stupid. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I got a few things I want to talk about, but mainly just uh, mainly motor vlogging. And, and you know, is it how it you know affects you and what it does and stuff like that? I guess. Uh, we'll get to the gloves and the vest in another video, but I had some free time and I wanted to go for a ride, so I figured I'd talk about motor vlogging, you know, and uh, most of us know what it is. It's, you know, you get on a motorcycle or a car or truck, something with a motor, you get a camera, and you vlog about uh, your thoughts and um, what, what you'd like to uh, say to the people. Um, wow. Well, uh, for me, like I didn't think about motor vlogging for like the longest, oh my god, it's gonna rain today. And um, like when I got my first Spider, which was like a my Spider RT, I didn't think about uh, motor vlogging. I just, uh, I just wanted to ride it. And then when I got the F3, I still wasn't thinking about motor vlogging. And then, oh my God, why? Then I was like, you know what, why not? I have things that I'm thinking about and I want to share my opinion with the masses. So I, uh, you know, I was able to get the GoPro here. And then I just started going, going at it. Um, you know, as we all know, my first few videos were just horrible. I mean, god awful. Um, they're starting to get better. I got a little better software, um, better, a little better equipment, and um, so it's it's a process. And uh, for those, you know, like for me. I motor, you know, I motor vlog, but I also, I have kids, and, you know, so, it's not like I can just walk out the house and be like, you know what, I'm going to go shoot a video, I'll be back in an hour. No, no, I have to wait. So, while some, some can, uh, put out a video, you know, like two or three videos every, every week, I can kind of do one here and there I try to do one a week so when I have the time I'll shoot you know like a bunch of stuff and then release it uh, accordingly so you know because it's different like like say you're completely single you don't have a significant other or you know you it's just you and your significant other you know if your significant other is at work or you're off work you can really just do whatever you want. You can go to whatever events you want, um, you know, stay out late as you want, or whatever have you. But when you're motor vlogging with, uh, you know, with kids, you know, you don't really want to miss out on stuff. Oh my God, why didn't I put those sunglasses on? So, you know, you got to kind of pick and choose when you can actually film. Um, so, you know, whenever I get off work and I kind of have the house to myself and, uh, you know, the weather in South Louisiana is, you know, decent, I will, you know, I'll get out and I'll, I'll try to film something. Um, I've, I've started, you know what, I, I've moved over to, uh, when I have it, uh, when I have the house to myself and the weather's crappy, I used to just not make a video. 
but I've moved towards uh, just, you know, filming in my house. I mean, granted, I need more light, as was evident by that review video I put in the card somewhere. And um, so, but, uh, you know, once, once we move to uh, Vegas and stuff, well, you know, where I have a garage, I'll be able to do that good lighting stuff but right now I kind of got to work with what I got and um, but you know get just get myself out there you know I was like I'm not trying to be famous I'm really just having fun um, I never thought like I looked this morning I had 76 subscribers hell when I started I had zero I was like ah, I don't care I still you know I appreciate all the uh, support there but, um, you know, I never thought I'd have it, even that many. Hell, I never thought I'd be making a tip video, and that tip video would be, um, you know, shared by uh, Dan Dan the Fireman, which I really, again, do appreciate, and I do owe him some uh, Harley poker chips from down here, uh, which I will get. I got one more place to go that's relatively close to me. And uh, so, you know, just tell him, I'll tell him, maybe he'll watch it, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's coming for him. Uh, but moto vlogging is a great way to just get your opinion out there. Like for me, especially out here, I don't have like a group to ride with. Um, if my wife and I can get the same off days, we'll go ride if we can, get someone to watch the kids. So it's, you know, it's, it's trying to find the time for everything is really, um, what it is you know so we try well i try to get as much content as i can um i'm trying to get her to like get a get a mic or, or what have you to, to set up like a real dual vlog uh setup but uh she's kind of reluctant but you know we'll, we'll see we'll see what I'll, I'll try to work on magic motor vlogging to become wall terrific famous or chase on two wheels famous and get all the free stuff i'm not telling you not to send free stuff i do like free stuff but i really just started motor vlogging to to talk like i said i don't have a group and you know sometimes my wife's working and i still have a house myself but you know i don't have anyone to ride with you know because not everybody rides at the same time, you know? So... Um, but yeah, oh my god. Once I uh, moved to, once we moved to Vegas, I can uh, like ride with my brother. He has, you know, the Road King that was in a spotlight that I'll put somewhere over there. Um, you know, that was like the first spotlight I've ever done. And, um, oh, you know, I think it's good for the channel, you know, show off people's bikes. Some people have some really cool bikes, you know, and they go unnoticed, um, you know, through the masses, but I like getting them out there. So, yeah, motor vlogging is actually set up, um, like I, I've, I've met some people and done some, some cool stuff like i said i'm part of you know every now and then i jump into the uh discord for uh dan dan the fireman and i talk to the, the people there which you know without motorcycles i doubt i would have ever done so motor vlogging is is a great release i mean if you're feeling uh down in the dumps and you're just like man today was a shit day you know you just hop on the motorcycle turn on the camera and release your frustrations you put that out there and people are you know they support you like hey man it'll get better man don't let it get to you don't sweat it we got your back you know or like i said you know it's riding a group and they see it well you know it's immediate support right there so i mean i i like it i don't think um uh, barring any you know unfortunate circumstances I'll probably motor vlog for a while, no matter how many subscribers I have. Um, you know, like the more the merrier. I always say, you know, like, comment, 
subscribe and share it with everyone you know because you know the more the better so I don't think that I would have gone this far moto vlogging with the spider I think when I got to the fat bob it really just opened me up to to motor vlogging like you know this is a lot of people a lot of newer riders are not going to uh get the spider they're going to get some you know they're going to get two wheels and i just happen to have two wheels now and i'm really still a beginner and although i haven't taken the msf course i can use motor vlogging to possibly help somebody else out with just some tips and tricks that I just found out along the way you know so I made one video aforementioned which will be in a card somewhere that I sent to Dan Dan the fireman and he shared it on his video and a lot of people saw it and it's good even though I put it on my channel it went to his channel and you know we have different uh, audiences one my audience is small he's is big but you know everybody can benefit for some, from some tips from somebody else you know so motor vlogging is a good way to help those you don't even know but you know helping somebody is always a good thing you know i when i first wanted to get into riding two wheels i watched every motor vlogger who was like this is you know how you ride from dan to blockhead to cycle cruiser to Dan, i think uh do it with dan did it I mean, just everyone who was, everyone who made one of those videos, I watched it, you know. So it really helps you out because you are mentally, even if you haven't sat on that bike, you watch these motor vloggers go through it. So when you sit on that bike or you take the course, you have, um, you have a reference to, you know, first gear is down and the rest are up, neutrals, a half click between one and two and so on and so forth you know you have this reference because these motor vloggers have helped you out and uh, provided you with great information so motor vlogging is awesome and i like helping people out um especially in this community which is an awesome community so um you know you know when you go to you know when you go to bike nights it's it's an awesome community um they, you know, it's like a big, it's really like a big family, and, um, you, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, not everybody's going to stop on the side of the road for you, but some will and some won't, and we just got to get over that. That's, that's really all I have to say on motor vlogging, because, you know, I mean, I mean, I guess a million people have done it, but that's, that's just my take on it, it lets you you know, it lets you help somebody out who's, you know, looking for the information you were looking for uh, before you started, you know, when you started riding or thinking about riding. So why not uh, return the favor if you can, if you're willing to motor vlog. You know, and help somebody out. So make sure you uh, like, comment, Smash that subscribe button and tell everyone you know what's going down in South Louisiana, soon to be Las Vegas, Nevada. Deuces. So be okay. Remember, you make your own fate and don't let nobody dictate who you are or where you're going. <laughs>